Hi everyone, this is Abhinav from Phone Bunch and today we are benchmarking the Yo Eureka. It's available for Rs. 899 from Amazon. Let's have a look at the hardware first. So this phone is running Android 4.4 KitKat but on Cyanogen OS 11. Now it features an octa-core chipset. It's the Snapdragon 615. It's a 64-bit chipset. You can see right there running on 1.5 GHz, 8 cores, Adreno 405 GPU power to graphics. You have 1912 MB of RAM available out of 2 GB and about 12.6 gigs of internal storage is also available. You can expand that with the micro SD card. There's a 13 megapixel rear camera, 5 megapixel front camera is also there, 2500 mAh removable battery. So let's start with the benchmarks. The first one we are running is Antutu. We have passed all of it to get to the results quickly. And we got a whopping score of 31982 which is highest in the segment and higher than that of the Redmi Note 4G, Alcatel Vantage Flash as well as the Moto G2. Now we are going to run Nena Mark 2. It's a graphics benchmark, will give us an FPS score and we got 55 FPS which is pretty decent. Meaning high end games should be playable, at least that's an indication. We will check that out in our gaming review. Next up we are going to run the Quadrant benchmark. We are running the full benchmark here, it's been fast forwarded as well. And we got a huge score of 18792 which is again the highest in the segment, easily beating out the Redmi Note 4G. Now we are running the Velamo benchmark. First we are going to run the HTML5 chapter for the browser. It will run Sun Spider as well as Octane. And again we got a great score of 2445, highest in the segment. It's pretty much the same scenario that we have seen through all the benchmarks. The U Eureka actually scores the best among all. Now we are running the Metal chapter. And that's partly due to the fast 615 chipset as well as 2 gigs of DDR3 RAM. We again got a great score of 941 on Metal, again showing the excellent performance of the Snapdragon 615 SoC. Now we are running Linpack and we got an excellent score of 514.65. Great scores here throughout all our tests. Now coming to multi-touch capabilities of the display, I have 6 fingers, only 5 are detected. So it's a 5 point multi-touch display. Now let's test USB OTG. USB OTG is supported by the chipset but let's check it out on the phone itself. Now you can see right there it has been detected. You can also see the glowing blue LED which lights up if you plug anything into the USB storage whether it's a charger, USB cable or USB storage. Now let me just get into the USB storage. You can see it has been mounted as well. I'll just play a 1080p video. You'll be able to see that as well. So folks here is the 1080p video playback. Smooth as silk, no jitter, no frame drop, no lag whatsoever. Moreover, the colors do look quite alright. There's a slight blue tint to this display, but we'll talk about that later on. Even in terms of day-to-day -day use, general usage, web browsing, I haven't noticed any lag with this device. Apps open up quickly, multitasking is a breeze as well. And moreover, at the price of just Rs. 899, you're getting a lot more than you're paying for. A 5.5 inch HD IPS display, an octa core Snapdragon 615 chipset, 2 gigs of DDR3 RAM, 13 megapixel rear camera, 5 megapixel front camera, and an excellent build quality. We'll be back with more on the U Eureka. Till then, you can watch its unboxing from right here, as well as the benchmarks of the Redmi Note 4G. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Any questions, just listen in the comment section. Thanks for watching, and as always, have a great day.